Hi, good evening. Um, it's Maya, and I'm just here to start my series with you guys. It's called A Dream and the Steps in Between. And so every day, I'm going to talk about a different phase or a different step of the dream and the steps in between. So today, I think where we should start and focus on is the vision, right? And the reason why I feel like we need to start there is because a dream and a vision are very different. A lot of people have dreams. People aspire to be supermodels. People aspire to be billionaires. People aspire to lose weight. People aspire to maintain a job. It could be something small, but in order for it to be a vision, means like there needs to be a plan involved. There needs to be some wisdom. It's a little more than just, I want, therefore I have. And a lot of people fall short because they get built up, they get this hope, they get the dream, and, and things kind of like fall by the wayside. So that's why I'm here, to kind of help people, give people some inspiration or some ideas of how they can continue their dream and growing it and fostering it. So with that being said, I do have some notes. If I refer back to them, just know that I'm and getting my head together so I can say everything and all the good things that I got down on paper. I just want to make sure everybody gets all that. So... Let's start with the dream. Most people think dreams are only supposed to be have when you are in sleep. But we know about lucid dreaming. Uh, lucid dreaming is still being asleep in some form, but like aware. And I don't understand why we can't obtain that on a daily basis. Still having a vision, still having the passion, the idea, but also being aware and fully cognizant of what's going on around us so that we can start just being intentional with the dream instead of letting it be intentional about us. <laughs> but, you know, beg the question, why not? And let's start thinking about, like, what does lucid dreaming look like for you? Because the word awoke or woke has been worn down to the ground, as we all know. And um, it's just taken on a different meaning, a different energy. People are less serious about waking up out of their slumber. But there's plenty of books that talk about it. Uh, a metaphorical slumber or a spiritual slumber um, and waking people awakening out of that. So that's the first step, waking up and being cognizant of the fact that I have a dream and now I need to build for that dream and what that looks like. So the next thing I want to talk about is the vision part. Like I said, it's having the ability to look at a plan with wisdom, but not just wisdom, imagination, being able to take what I know and what I want and my hopes and dreams and kind of pulling it together and tying it and making a nice, beautiful web is what this is all supposed to be. It's supposed to be a masterpiece. That's why when people talk about their dreams or their story of getting to the dream, it feels so big because they're tying all these things together that you never thought really actually worked in unison to make everything happen. Now, for me, a lot of times I have confirmations before the vision. It could work differently. This is the last piece. With that, you, as like naturally, we look for confirmation, whether we're right, whether we're wrong. Because on one of my previous posts, like I said, people don't like being wrong. So you're going to look for confirmation on the pieces that you want confirmed, right? So if you have a dream that you want to be a business owner, like for me, I'll tell you my story and how that all came to be after I explain these two terms to you. So for me, I wanted to be a business owner. The confirmations came before the vision. And when I saw all the pieces working together, I'm just like, wow, this is crazy. But there is a confirmation bias. And this is what I want to bring up and kind of boop, drop in everybody's face real quick before we start to start analyzing our dreams, if you are separately analyzing our dreams and really thinking about you know, what's the next step? So there is a confirmation bias, and that's when you're looking for the new information to align with your old thought. And once again, a changed environment will not supersede a continuously old mindset. That's not enough. It's not enough to change your environment. You have to change the way you think. You have to change the way you view yourself. You have to maybe change the way you view the dream. Something has to change. It, you're going to have to have a metamorphosis. That's why every chapter requires a new version of yourself. Version, vision, I'm just saying, you're getting it. Okay, so 
there is a confirmation bias and that's something that we all should look out for because at the end of the day we really want to be happy but sometimes our happiness and judgment is based on old thoughts so be careful that your old thoughts are not choosing choosing your next steps for you um and with that being said like for me this situation this whole me coming out and talking about my ideas and things like that and passing on that knowledge that came to me as a confirmation because just a few months ago I was in a position where I was running store and I had people working under me and I basically was told that I need to step down or get fired call a spade a spade right and at that point I never took a vacation because my store couldn't allow it you know I never took a day off and so I'm thinking like I have all this vacation time saved up I'm gonna use my two weeks put in put in two week vacation time and that's my two week notice and I'm out I'm done I put in all this all this positive energy just for it to kind of blow up in my face it was hurtful and then I went to a store in the meantime that um was a previous store manager of me that saw me go up you know, same people you see going up, same people you see going down, y'all know. And um, I still had the same mindset. You know, some people, actually, I was talking to them. I was like, listen, I'm not here to make it worse, but I'm not here to be a store manager. I don't want to invest any energy. I don't want to invest any time. And this is really counter to who I am. Normally, I'm the type of person is if I'm here, I'm going to make the space the best space it can be. And everybody that I touch is going to be blessed. And, and I just wasn't feeling that anymore. I was not passionate. I didn't want to invest in anything. And then I slowly started running into old customers old partners that you know we used to work together I used to train I used to coach um and I realized like dang I'm, I I have an impact here like people see me people value me uh and at that time people remembered me to be this person that I don't recall you know and it was like a moment where like I got a chance to get back to who I am I had a coming home moment and it was nice and then from there, I still was like, but I'm still going to leave, though, because they still did me dirty. And I transferred. And then more things started to happen. At my new store, people kept saying, you know, Mariah, you should be a coach. You should be a trainer. You know, you're, really, you're really good with working with people. You're really good with talking to people. And at that moment, I was thinking about it. I had the name. I had the idea. I had the platform. But I wasn't really moving in it. And that was the confirmation that my vision and everything that I'm afraid to push for is 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 coming together. It's coming together. And um, all that's to say that your dream is just the tip of the iceberg. You're not given a dream nor a vision without confirmation and then opportunities. They all follow suit. And if you are in the right path and you're going in the right direction, everything is going to fall into place. That's not to say that it's going to be easy. That's not to say that you're not going to be afraid. Do it anyway, because we need someone in whatever you are passionate about in that position. You don't know how you can impact somebody by not even following your dream. Everybody has a rhythm. Everybody has a song. If you don't sing your song, you could be messing up my song. How you know you're not supposed to feature on my track? I'm just saying. If everybody pretty much just move in their purpose and own it and love it and grow it and foster it, I think the world would be a better place. Um, so I appreciate everybody for tuning in live. I'm going to be making a post about this tonight for everybody to just love on, communicate, talk about the things that they're dreaming about in their visions and then tomorrow we're going to come back and talk about the purpose that's that's the the reason behind this this is going to be our anchor and our drive so we're not going to stop here um and i once again appreciate everybody for tuning in thank you so much and i will see you tomorrow tomorrow at the same time